hello guys welcome back to the channel here in this video i am going to show you how to calculate sediment transport index sti using dem digital elevation model in qgis you can practice with the video by downloading the dem with the link provided in the description okay first load the dm file from which you want to calculate sti sediment transport index for this go to layer add layer add raster layer find out the dm and then select the dm and add it so after you get the dm file in qgis window go to raster navigate to analysis and select slope here this window will appear in the input layer over here it should be DEM and then leaving everything on default hit run so now let's open a raster calculator and correct the slope map in such way that we don't have zeros on the slope map for this go to raster and select raster calculator now select slope and find less than zero or equal to zero and multiply with 1 add this equation with slope greater than 0 and multiply with slope okay So now let's set the output file location of the corrected slope file. For this click here and browse the output file location. Give a file name. After this click OK. So here we can see the difference between slope and modified slope. The modified slope does not contain values equal to 0 or less than 0. Now for flow accumulation, go to processing toolbox, navigate to Saga, simulations and then select flow accumulation. Here in DEM, input your DEM and then leaving everything on default, hit run. Friends, it may take a while depending on the size and the resolution of the DEM. So after you get the contribution area or flow accumulation map, we are ready for the raster calculation for SPI, sorry STI sediment transport index. Again open raster calculator. The equation of STI goes like this. You can follow with me. Okay.
So, after you input the correct formula for STI, save the file to the output file location. Browse to the destination folder. Give a name. For me, I will be giving STI.TIF and then hit OK. So here you can see the recently created SPI file. And now for Symbology, right click on the recent created STI file. Go to Symbology and Render Type option, go to Single Band Pseudo Color. You can play with the color, number of classes, etc. Uh, by yourself, okay? For now, I'll hit Classify and OK. So here you can see the STI with different classes. You can customize as per your need. That's all. Hope you enjoyed the video. For any sort of problem, you can comment in the comment box. Like and share the video, subscribe the channel for the best QGS tutorial and lectures in special analysis. Have a good time, happy learning.